Hey everybody, Eagle Run 23 here. We're in the middle of a couple of projects, but I'm trying to stay ahead. I showed you this carbon fiber lower, but I got a little thing I'm working up here. I can't give it all away yet, but there's a product that came in from AT3 Tactical that I don't know that many of you have seen or that many of you maybe know about. This is Stinger USA, and this company was acquired by AT3 Tactical, and they make a really cool handguard. Welcome to the swarm. So a lot of things to like about this. One, overall, the weight is really good. This is a 12 inch handguard and it uh, does a lot of things correctly. It has a lot of things that we like. So let's take a look here. Uh, interrupted rail, that is a must for me. Um, Nobody really runs much right here, and if you do, you got an M lock that you could put a piece in if you need to put something on there. Uh, we've got detents, gotta have the detents integrated into the slide. Uh, lots of other M lock. When you full M lock all the way across like this, you do make a lot of handguards look similar. Uh, this looks similar from here to here from a lot of other handguards, and it's just because that M lock is available. I do like it when it's maybe integrated into a couple of different places and there's more of a design here, but great options and access here with the M-Lock, so no real complaints there. Then we do have something interesting happening on the end. It's easy to just go flat down here. I like it when there's a slash or some, some sort of mouth cut here. This is kind of a, I don't even know what you would call that. It's not, it's a little longer on the bottom than it is the top, but that would look, you know, interesting coming out of, uh, with a barrel coming out of that, so I do like that. And then the lightning cuts here on the top, uh, another must have. You could also go through and lighten through here as well and remove even more material to make it even lighter, but this does a good job. I also am liking the 12, you know, the 10 to 12 inch hand guards. 10 is probably a little short, but this is good on a 16 inch barrel, especially if you're running, you know, like a cool, interesting looking barrel like this one, having some of it poking out and showing that off, I think it's kind of cool, but it mainly just reduces the weight, which is the main obstacle. And this one has some lockup here for the upper receiver. So that's how it pairs against a Faxon upper receiver. And that just kind of keeps it from wiggling around. You got your clamping on the bottom and then you got your anti-rotation there at the top. So that works out, that works out really well and uh, would look really nice. So I wanted to show this to you before because this is going to the Cerakote shop and then I'll show it to you when it's all done and we get this gun together. A lot of really cool components going in this build. I'm trying to really branch out and kind of do some, some non-traditional things. Uh, things like this really cool butt stock that we got in from Elf. This gun will also have an Elf trigger. Um, carbon fiber lower, really fun stuff. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribed. I'll show it to you when it's all done. Uh, probably take a couple weeks at the Cerakote shop and then we'll get this build put together. All right guys, Eagle Run 23, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.